<laughs> um, yeah. Hello everybody, Loki Magics, another day, another video. But in this video today, as suggested, we're gonna talk about these two rare champions because I really think these two champions could totally help some free to play accounts out there, low spenders. And at first I was thinking, hey, this new champion, which I like to call Gramps, might be a replacement for Apothecary. But the more I thought about it, I realized these two work very well together. So if that sounds interesting to you, let's check out this video. All right, so let's get started. Now, most of you guys already know Apothecary, so we're not gonna spend too much time on the champion, but tr trust me, this is a very good rare champion if you didn't know, and many in-game players still use them. And another good thing about building these two champions out, Apothecary and who I like to call Gramps here, is that Doom Tower's coming, and I think they're gonna start utilizing more rare champions. So I think right now is a good time to build up these two rares because they work very well together, and even individually, they do a lot for your team composition. So Apothecary, the way he does it is, this A1 attacks three times at random, which is very good for Fire Knight. Simple, but effective, right? Now he has this A2 that heals target ally by 35% HP. This could be critical, so this could be a very big heal. And it's only on a two turn cooldown, which is very crucial when you're trying to clear some of this content. And this right here, another very strong A3 on a three turn cooldown, places 30% increased speed buff on all allies for two turns and fills the turn meter of all allies by 15%. So this is very nice, right? And I guess just to go over his masteries real quick, now I kind of built them out a little bit different for clan boss and I haven't touched them for a very long time. But right here, definitely want to go for war master, right? If you're gonna use it for clan boss and get a little bit more damage out of him. And also I think I went with this here because I was using it for fire knight, yeah, that's, and I wanted him to counterattack with his A1, right? Because it attacks three times. Very good for Fire Knight. So I think this is a decent build for PvE. I didn't finish this. I'm just missing one more thing. But, you know, I just wanted to run through Apothecary real quick. Just in case you didn't know. But I feel like most of you guys already are very familiar with Apothecary. So I didn't want to spend too much time here. So let's move on to Gramps. Yeah. I love how they did that with his animation. I don't know if other champions have that animation, but it's nice to see something different sometimes in this game. So I didn't know if you guys noticed that before, but I think that's new and thank you player for a little bit more flair in your game. But regardless, let's talk about Gramp's skill because man, this dude here is very similar to Apothecary, but he does it in a slightly different way. And his first difference is his A1. Now this guy attacks one enemy and has a third spin chance of placing poison debuff, right? So poisons on A1s are always good for clan boss, especially if you've got a counter attack champion in your team comp. So this is definitely, definitely beneficial for that damage output. And then his A2 attacks all enemies and has a 50% chance of placing the weaker decrease attack does weaker decrease speed right if your targets are under poison debuff so this right here is going to be very good for you to get that decrease attack decrease attack is huge and it's on a three turn cooldown so definitely beneficial and then you get decreased speed so this is where the synergy between apothecary and gramps start coming in because apothecary likes to give you increased speed and boost turn meter this guy is slowing down the enemy's speed right so now you're going to be going a lot faster than your opposition so this right here is very good synergy and they even synergize more because his a3 fills a turn meter of all allies by 15 percent and heals all allies by 50 percent of this champion's max hp right so you can see how these two rare champions alone working together should be able to help out a lot of accounts out there especially for free to play they're rare champions they're magic affinity they're not going to be that hard to pull well I don't know for everyone, but it shouldn't be that hard for you guys to pull these two champions, right? So I really think the synergy is there. And individually, like I said, they do a lot. So if you got one or the other, hey, definitely build them up. These are very good rare champions, okay? Now let's talk about his masteries. Very similar to Apothecaries. They just have two different variations, right? Because with Gramps here you, and Apothecary, you could definitely do this for Clan Boss and a little bit more damage output from these two, right? Because you want to get War Master, and this definitely helps out with some damage throughout the game. 
but for gramps here you definitely want to go to a support side because he does have all those debuffs right so you definitely want to get some accuracy you know work your way down here you could get this just for his a1 so that poison procs a lot more and then definitely master hexer because this will extend all of those buffs right so definitely a good mastery for this champion now the reason why we didn't go with support for apothecary is because apothecary only really has this buff right so if you really want to go down his masteries to get lasting gifts for that increased speed i guess but i think it's better for him to be a little bit more tanky to survive and have that counter so that's why his masteries look like this and then for gramps here his masteries look a little bit different but i think if you want to you know keep offense and go defense also it wouldn't hurt it just really depends what you have in your team comp but this is how i built out both of these champions and now let's talk about their artifacts so when it comes to both of these champions i feel like the best sets you could throw on them are hp defense and speed type sets because for rare champions they have some really good speed right their defense and hp isn't too bad apothecary base stats are very similar to his speed defense and hp he's wearing some attack type set right now but just ignore that that that's because i was using it for um i think faction wars but their attack base points is very low so definitely don't even worry about building that up. Just focus HP, defense, and speed, and you should be good to go. And I think we talked about these champions enough. Um, so yeah, let's just take them to the field and see how they do, right? Let's go. All right, first dungeon is Dragons 20. Now you can see our team comp here. It's a little bit of an oddball team comp, but it really works because we have Apothecary Gramps taking care of the heals and the speed boosting. And then we have Gogarab there that can revive anybody that falls down, right? And Taurus is pretty much there for the damage. And you can see that he has a killable for two turns, but sometimes, you know, you just can't get those heals up in time. Just depends how it plays out, right? And he might die so that's why go grabs there but regardless for auto dragon 20 this isn't too bad yes we're running in the three minute mark but you got to consider we're running two healers well technically three and we don't have increased defense and we made it all the way here and we don't have um de uh, decreased defense and all the damage is coming from poison so i just really wanted to kind of prove a point that with apothecary and gramps together you could probably build all kinds of different team comps that should help you clear um stage 20 content spiders i don't know about that one that might be a little bit difficult but all the other stages easily you should be able to beat them with these two champions in your team comp and yeah especially with the arbiter missions you know doing these stages on auto could be a little bit difficult so i think gramps and apothecary is a blessing especially for you free-to-play players and this dragon is about to go down so let's just let's just see I was going to edit this and see, you know, kind of skip to the end, but let's just see how much damage um, Gramps and Apothecary actually did between the two. Now, remember, Apothecary um, is an attack set, but Gramps have poison on his A1, so that's going to be a big difference, right? Apothecary technically should do more damage, but that poison is pretty powerful, so we'll see. Yeah, there's a huge difference in their damage output. So, you know, just a little thing to consider. Maybe if you had to pick one, you might go with Gramps versus Apothecary. So just showing you guys these numbers so you can make this decision for yourself. And now let's move over to Ice Golem. And you can see right here, we have switched out a few of the champions. We have Kaiden and Armager in there now. And we're just pretty much going to beat Ice Golem's 20 on auto. So easily with those two champions, Apothecary and Gramps in the mix, you're able to switch it up and get it done with more of accessible champions, right? And you can see right here, um, Gramps did a little bit more damage than Apothecary once again. So it must be a trending thing between the two. Obviously, Gramps has poison on his A1, so definitely going to be doing a lot more damage. Now let's go to Fire Knight. All right, so we switched out a few of the champions because Code Heart and Alert is very good for Fire Knight, but the key here is that Apothecary and Gramps was able to get them here because of the speed boost and the heals they provided, plus Kaiden can revive if any one of these champions go down. So this is a very strong team for Fire Knight's 20. I wish I had this type of team a long time ago because it used to be you couldn't do this if you didn't have a counter champ. 
and I don't know if you just saw that so let's go back just a little bit we're gonna put this on slow-mo so you can see it better but you see fire Knight's turn meter it's almost full alert is off by a little bit but but because of pot to carry speed boost she's able to cut in and pretty much deplete his turn meter right so this is very helpful those speed boosts do not underestimate it it really really helps a lot and pretty much from here, the fight is over. So let's just fast forward to the end. And that is pretty much another one down. And once again, Gramps did a lot more. Well, not a lot more, but he did more damage than Apothecary. So you guys kind of get the idea. Very good for dungeon clearing. So now let's talk about Arena for a sec. I just kind of wanted to use this as an example how you could use these two champions in arena so gramps going first so definitely speed boost right so you could get apothecary to go second and he's going to be able to speed boost and put increased speed so now you boost it twice so your dpser should be able to go and you can see right here we are faster than them so we're going to hit duchess decrease that turn meter a little bit right now kel gets to go and i guess we'll do his a2 right now one of them died and uh, the rest of them almost died. And uh, well, we can't do decrease attack here because of the buffs, but uh, buff protection. But regardless though, you can see how you could kind of use these champions to speed boost your attackers and possibly go first. So this is just to kind of give you guys an idea, not saying you have to, but if you don't have a lot of good champions in arena, then don't be afraid to use these two. They do have a little bit of use case in the arena. Definitely not their cup of tea, but you can see we could get some wins. And the last thing to talk about is clan boss. So when you're running these two together for clan boss, I think it's very doable all the way up to brutal, easy, normal, hard, and brutal. You should be just fine with these two because right here is brutal and we're doing kind of a speed poison burst type of team comp. But after brutal and you're going into nightmare, you kind of want to have a better team composition, right? You want the stronger decrease attack. You want increased defense counter champs things like that to definitely help you through nightmare so this is us doing brutal 21 turns very short run but we got a lot of poisons up because we're speed boosting and this is going to be i believe a two key for brutal so this is the kind of team comp you'll run very early game and eventually make your way into a better team comp right so just throwing this out there if you don't have no one else don't be afraid to use this team comp and yeah so 21 million for max chest so we got we did 15 so not too bad right so just throwing this out there for information and maybe you want to use them with clan boss and this brings us to the end of the video so what do you guys think do you think these two champions are worth building do you think they are great champions or are they just okay me personally i think for rare champions they are fantastic i still use apothecary in many areas of the game just for fun because he really could help you and a lot of content and he's useful right and then so is grant especially in faction wars i almost forgot to mention that definitely for faction wars he's going to help you out i'm sure most of you guys already thought about that and i'm kind of curious to see for stage 21 can i use gramps and all epics to push through if i'm able to do that i'll definitely upload that video so look out for that one but regardless i hope you guys enjoy this video and let me know how you guys feel about these two champions i love them i want to know how you guys feel and like always please enjoy the rest of your week take care be safe and i'll catch you on the next one peace